Yeah, firstly, like I like to answer why would why do we give scholarship? We give scholarship because we want to make sure people who are very bright or people who come from underrepresented section, they feel most welcome at Scalar School of Technology and we increase their representation here. Now, all of the scholarships are funded by the Scalar Foundation. And the Scalar Foundation is associated with a lot of industry stalwarts like Vijay Shekhar Sharma, who is the founder of Paytm, Prasanna Sankar, who was the CTO of Rippling, which is like a $10 billion tech company, and a few more people who I cannot name here. There are broadly two kinds of scholarship. One is Women in Tech Scholarship which is meant for female applicants. And the second is Brightest Mind Scholarship, which is meant for people who have had exceptional academic performance. However, let me also mention, what are the criteria used to decide whether you get a scholarship or not? So whether you get a scholarship or not is a combination of a multiple factors and not a single factor. I'll list down those factors. First factor is your academic performance. Now, again, even there, we make sure that the marks that you have, the performance that you had, is normalized with respect to the board that you went to. The second factor is how did you perform in the scalar end set or maybe equivalent other competitive exams. The third factor is have you done things outside of your academics, which is certain extracurricular activities, maybe you built something in tech, we take that into consideration as well. And fourth thing is your financial profile, your family financial profile. How much do you need the scholarship? Now, combination of all of these parameters will decide whether you get a particular scholarship or not if you're eligible for that section. Now, once you understand these scholarships, let me also walk you through the process. Now, when you're applying for Scalar School of Technology, which means you're trying to register for your NSET, at that time in the application process, there is an interview and scholarship form. Make sure you fill out all of your details along with all of your achievements in that form before the NSET happens. If you do not fill out your information, then we will assume that you're not interested in getting a scholarship. If you have filled out your information, then if you clear the NSET and you clear the interviews, then we take that information and we send it to all of our sponsors. Now these sponsors, they review your information and they make a call on whether you will get the scholarship or not, along with what percentage of scholarship do you get. If you're selected, and we come back to you and tell you that you are selected, we also inform you of whether you're getting a scholarship or not, and if yes, what percentage of your tuition fees is covered as part of scholarship. Even if you do get the scholarship, it is important to note that you have to maintain a certain level of CGPA to continue to avail the scholarship. If your CGPA drops below that, which means you're not performing well academically inside the SST program, then your scholarship will lapse. So that's the entire process, net-net, Make sure that you fill out your details in as much detail as possible before you have given your inset.